Hi viewers, I hope you all are doing fine. Today we will solve few sums relate, related to the topic factorization. So let's factorize these few sums. So the first step to solve this question is we have to assume any two numbers. If we multiply those two numbers, we have to get the answer 16. And if we add or subtract those two numbers, we have to get 8 as our answer. So let's think what are the numbers what are the two numbers if we add or subtract we have to get 8 and if we multiply we have to get 16 let's take 4 right because see 4 into 4 4 4 that gives you 16 right so we got 16 and if we add these two numbers we will get 8 so let's take 4 let's take this a a plus we will take this 4 here and we'll put that in bracket another a a plus another 4 a plus 4 we will put this also in bracket. So instead of writing this twice, we will write a plus once and we'll put square. So it will be twice itself, right? So a plus four, the whole square is known as is the final answer. Now let's solve the second sum with using the same method. So the question here is p square minus 10p plus 25. Now the first step is we have to assume any two numbers. If we multiply, we have to get 25. And if we subtract or add, we have to get 10 as our answer, right? So let's take any two digit. So what are the two numbers we can take? We'll get 25 and 10. Let's take 5, right? Because 5, 5 is a, gives you 25. And if we add 5 plus 5, we will get 10. See, 5, 5 is a 25. We got 25, the third term. And if we add, we'll get the middle term. So 5 plus 5 is... 10 so we will get the middle term right now let's take this p once p what will what will be the sign here it will be minus because third term is plus and the middle term is minus so let's take the sign of the middle term p minus 5 and once again p minus 5 now we will take this to p minus 5 once we will write and put a square here that's all this is our answer now let's solve this third sum z square minus 4z minus 12 now what are what are the two numbers we can take think think of any two numbers if we multiply we should get 12 and if we add or subtract we have to get 4 now let's take any number what can we take see 4 3 is a 12 but 4 plus 3 gives you will will give you another number if you subtract also we will not get 4 so let's think of any two number if we multiply we should get 12 and if we subtract or add we should get 4 let's take 6 2 is a right because see 6 into 2 gives you 6 2 is a 12 right now if we subtract 6 minus 2 we will get 4 right so we are getting 4 so we have to change the sign here so let's take 6 as minus 6 into plus 2 so you will get 12 minus 12 as well as our answer right so here also it's minus 12 only so we'll so get minus 12 let's take minus 6 plus 2 see if we plus into minus is minus if we subtract 6 minus 2 we'll get 4 4 right so let's take these two numbers z once and here we will put a sign of which sign we'll put minus minus 6 it will come in the bracket another z here which sign we will put here we will put plus 2 because we are taking here this number right so it will we will take plus 2 so this is our answer so our answer here is here we can't take this once we can't write this once right because we have different here all in this sum we had p minus 5 p minus 5 a plus 4 a plus 4 here we have z minus 6 and z plus 2 right so we can't write once if both of these numbers would have been same means we could have written once but here they have written we, we have got different numbers so let's take z minus 6 as our answer and z plus 2 as our answer so this is our answer now let's solve the last question 3m square plus n 9m plus 6 here it is little different right see here all we got only alphabets p square z square a square here we got a digit 3m square so the first step to solve this is we will multiply 3 into 6 so 3 into 6 is how much 3 into 6 3 6 are 18 now 
this three we will remove and we'll write here m square plus 9m plus we will take this number 18 we will write here 18 now we will take m m plus this number we'll take we'll take this number m plus 3 and here 6 right so we'll put this in bracket and we'll write m plus 6 now what will we do we will cancel how we will cancel we'll cancel these two numbers how we will take this three the denominator and this three the denominator now we'll do the cancellation three ones are three three ones are three three ones are three three twos are six so what is left m plus one and m plus two right so our final answer is m plus one into m plus 2 is our final answer so that's all for today if you all found it helpful please subscribe like and share thank you for watching